Okay. Anthony, I actually watched the two videos that uh, you linked to. Uh, they're long, but I did it. Um, I'll summarize John Blow's talk as it sounds like he rediscovered what people have been talking about for years, which is agile development, uh, agile software development. Uh, don't do premature optimizations. Um, you know, your time matters, so you only implement what you you know need to say that the the work is done, and then you can iterate from there. Um, you know, don't write general purpose code in in that same sense. You ain't gonna need it. Yagni is a principle. Uh, I mean, there's all these different things that John was talking about that I thought, well, that sounds familiar. It sounds like a lot of the agile talk that I've been reading about for the last couple of years. Um, I do think that his talk was valuable in the uh, specifics of dealing with uh, data structures as a form of premature optimization. Um, uh, I don't know, but at the same time, I think that if you are following, you know, stand, like the basic don't pre, you know, don't write code that you don't need. Um, you know, focus on uh, uh, the work that you're actually doing. Then the data structures. I mean, that's the essence of programming. Um, what what data structures you pick, you know, affect how things are are going to be written in code. Um, after all, it's just data in, transform data, data out. That's what's, that's our job as programmers. Um, and so, I think that there's a difference though between uh, premature optimization and smart optimization. Um, you know, I, you don't want to try and come up with a really complex data structure if you don't need it. Uh, you know, that's premature optimization. But if you know you need it, then it's not premature to try and get that data structure uh, from the start. Uh, I, there's probably all these steps in between that you probably could do to get there, uh, which would allow you to have some kind of working software before then. But uh, in general, I think that it's uh, agile software development. That's John's talk. Um, let's see. Uh, Petri's talk on limitations. I know there was, you know, talk about ludum dare and how the, there's a time constraint. You have t uh, 48 hours. Uh, I've done game in a day, which is 24 hours. There are people who try to game jam for just a few hours, like four hours. Um, and that's time constraints and everything. He talked about control constraints, uh, you know, input constraints. Um, graphical constraints. I've actually talked about that when I asked in my last video, which Anthony apparently thinks doesn't exist. Um, the, you know, the idea that people are, you know, if you can't make art, just do some low-res pixel thing and, and you're fine. Um, except I think it, it gets kind of old. And uh, yes, that, that question was brought up. Uh, you know, Mike talked about it, or I guess Pekka said it actually at the talk. Um, I didn't think it sounded like him, but okay. Uh, in any case, yeah, there is there an issue with making something that sounds and looks just like other games, uh, or is that just what people, you know? I, I once talked to somebody who said, "Oh, what do you make?" And I said, "Well, I make uh, games. Like, what kind of games?" And I was trying to describe it, and he's like, "Oh, so indie games." And I'm like, "Well, indie isn't a genre, but I guess some people are starting to see it that way. And is it because of all the low res and and you know lo-fi sound? I don't know." Um, and then Mike talked about journaling, and besides my awesome composition notebooks, which I've been using for development for my own purposes, by the way, back to school special sales that uh, stores are having, I found uh, a whole bunch of these, 40 cents each. Fantastic. Um, blogging, I blog, and I haven't done a lot of it recently because I've been trying to focus on development and their, you know, writing takes time, um, but I find it really useful for getting feedback, especially because I do not have uh, a lot of interactions with independent game developers outside of IRC or um, you know mailing lists and uh, web forums. A lot of which I haven't participated in again because I'm uh, trying to actually get work done. Um, recently, there's been some game developers uh, in my local area that have been trying to meet uh, midweek every Wednesday. Um, and so that's actually great because last time I saw some of these people was either at GDC or, uh, you know, the last jam that they had. There's actually a jam coming up this weekend that I'll be going to, um, so that'll be great. And uh, But yeah, otherwise my blog uh, is kind of my main way of 
being in contact with actual game developers um, and getting great feedback on what I'm doing. And, uh, hmm, I think that's it. So I'm going to stop this video now before it gets too long.